59 feet up the gantry, and at about T minus 80 minutes, the hatch was secured. The countdown continued. Years of training, months of trial runs, days of tests, and hours of waiting, and now the links to the earth were receding. The launch facilities recovery forces were deployed in the event of an early abort or malfunction. At T minus 10 minutes, the recovery helicopters left for the impact area. As countless millions watched and listened with bated breath, the astronaut maintained manual control of the craft and almost continuous voice communications with Earth. At 9.34 in the morning, the Mercury Redstone 3 flight with astronaut Alan Shepard at the controls traveled 300 miles, reached an altitude of 115 miles, and experienced about five minutes of zero G. Approximately 16 minutes after liftoff, the spacecraft, now dubbed Freedom 7, was located and recovered. The same helicopter picked up first astronaut Alan Shepard and then his Freedom 7 spacecraft. It delivered the spacecraft back to the deck of the carrier and finally landed to unload the free world's first spaceman. <laughs> 